I remember watching Spider-Man No Way Home and there were some parts of that movie that really had me like bawling, like crying ugly tears and really I really have to like, go like this and hold a lot of stuff back because I didn't want people in the theater looking at me like I was crazy. And when you think about the Bengals situation, having not won a playoff game in 30 or 31 years. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of ugly tears from Bengals fans tonight, but let them out. Don't don't be don't be sad. I mean, this is a these are happy tears, of course, but don't don't be ashamed. Shout out to all the Bengals fans. Congrats to the Bengals. They are in this position. They earn this position. They deserve this position. They won the AFC North and they like think about this. Something to think about as we continue in the playoffs. Uh, the Bing who do they have to be scared of in the AFC? Think about it. The Chiefs, they, they've taken down the Chiefs already. The Patriots or Bills, the Titans. Like, who, who does, are, are these Bing These Bengals are not afraid of anybody. They don't have anybody to be afraid of. And not saying that they aren't beatable because any team is, but the Bengals, they, they got a squad. So we'll see how this thing shakes out. Um, Joe, Joe Burrow and Jamal Chase is just like, man, we know these dudes played together in college. And, of course, that was a pick that a lot of people were very uh, just animated about. Um, because some people felt like, why would you take a wide receiver? You need O-line help. Remember Joe, Joe Burrow got hurt last year? Then other people were like, hey, I love the pick. And me, I, I, I loved it. Because that's how I am. I'm, I, I would take that pick all day. Um, and it has paid dividends in such a major way. Bengals are a team that has so many weapons. And they, early in this game, they started off hot. Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow, all those back shoulder throws and just, they, they were on fire in the first half. But then early in the second half, the Raiders were like, ah, uh, nope. Jamar Chase, he ain't about to beat us like that. No, mm -mm, no, no siree. No, but there was that touchdown to Tyler Boyd um, that actually <laughs> shouldn't have even been a touchdown. And you know what, what hurts, especially for Raiders fans? Oh, man, I feel for Raiders fans with that. This game, they lost this game by seven points. And then you think about how it's a game of inches and every play matters that much more. Those seven points were not supposed to be given by the to the Bengals uh, on that touchdown to Tyler Boyd because the, the the referee blew the whistle and man I know that like those are those plays like that especially in games like this they are going to sting and they're going to sting for a long time uh Raiders they um it's crazy because I thought Raiders have been through a lot this this year They've been through a lot. Of course, the whole John Gruden thing, uh, the unfortunate situation with Henry Ruggs, um, and the it was the uh, the cornerback too, who was on Snapchat or whatever it was. With the they they just been through a lot, a whole lot this season. And when they would continue to go through one thing after another, after another, after another, and then it just seemed to be poor decision making by the individuals uh, who are all no longer on the team. But it, it, it's just a bunch of poor decisions from the coaches, from the players. And now all those guys are gone. I thought they were done. I, I was like, oh, yeah, Raiders, yeah, they, they out of here. They ain't making playoffs. They ain't about to do nothing. No, Raiders, ain't, they ain't shaking nothing. Wrong. Wrong. And, boy, they, they made it. They made it to the playoffs. And it was just crazy. And I remember that, that game against the Chargers. It was looking like they were getting ready to run out the clock. But then Chargers called a timeout and that changed the game. Then Raiders end up kicking that game winning field goal to send the Chargers home and send them uh, to Cincinnati. Send the Raiders to Cincinnati, of course. Um, Derek Carr, really good quarterback. Uh, I feel like he, especially going into this year, he doesn't get nearly enough recognition. Uh, for how good he is and and that's from me too I, I don't give him nearly enough credit uh for the good quarterback that he is um now I know with the Raiders they have an interim coach and 
I feel like like if he was able to weather that storm, well, not even that storm, that tornado, that hurricane that was the Raiders this season. I know you want to interview some other people, but why not just make him the head coach? He obviously did something right. He obviously still helped you still get to the play. I, why not just make him the, the, the head coach? Might as well. But anyway, um, right, but one thing that one thing with the Raiders, and I know we kind of bounce them back and forth. But one thing that I saw in this game that that just killed them all game, they were getting the plays in so late, time and time and time and time and time again, and that just that's such a drive killer, a, a, a play killer, because you stop yourself before the play even starts. It's one thing if there's a bad pass that's thrown. It's one thing if it's an interception, if if it's a sack, if it's a fumble, if it's whatever. But you don't even give yourself an opportunity to get a positive play in when, when you just, it's coming down to the wire like on so many plays. The play clock is good, three, two, and you rushing. And if you rush on stuff like that, especially time and time again, it just makes stuff go sloppy. So that was one of the Raiders killers in this game. Uh, another one was early on in the game, uh, Trey Hendrick Hendrickson, former New Orleans Saint, uh, who came over and sort of took the place of a Carl Lawson, who a lot of Bengals fans wanted to retain. And then when he ended up going to the Jets, it was like, oh, man. Then when they signed Trey Hendrickson, they were like, oh, I don't know about this one. Nah, we'll see. But it certainly worked out. And when he got that sack strip on Derek Carr, I was like, oh, boy. Um, and I, I really, when I, before this game, I thought this was going to be, uh, I thought it was going to be close for a little bit. But then I thought the Bengals were going to just take off. Uh, I thought 500 Burrow, because, again, that's what I called him since he threw over 500 yards against my Ravens. I called him 500 Burrow. And I said, that's, that's what I got to call him moving forward. But when 500 Burrow, I, I thought he was going to go off this game like crazy. And, and he, like Bengals fans, he's obviously going to be the comeback player of the year. For sure. There, there's no doubt in anybody's mind that Joe Burrow has already won comeback player of the year. It, it's, he's got it. It's his. Um, but it's, they, they definitely got that guy. They definitely got that guy. Um, Joe Burrow, th this like... <laughs> They got that guy. And they have equipped him with so many weapons. And he you and that's the thing. He uses all of those weapons. Obviously, Jamar Chase. Um, but T. Higgins. T now T. Higgins, he wasn't involved like crazy in this game. Um, and there was one where Joe Burrow gave him an opportunity, but Joe Burrow sort of overthrew him. Um, but he did hook up with him. How many times did he hook? I, I remember one catch for sure in the second half. Um, but it, it wasn't very much. But, uh, of course, Jamar Chase, it, this was his show. His first playoff game, he looked like a veteran. He was very comfortable. And he was like, oh, oh, this, this, that's it? That play, oh, okay, I'm straight. I got, I got this. But, um, yeah, man, uh, teams got to watch out for these Bengals, man. Because th they, they are something serious. Because their offense has so many different options. Uzama, he, he caught a touchdown, too. And he just been beasting this year at tight end. Trust me, I'm a, I'm a Ravens fan, so I, we know firsthand about these Bengals weapons. Um, but they, they got so many. So many. They could pick and choose. And, and I loved how, I think, oh, it was on their last drive, their last offensive drive. Uh, when they were trying to get the first down to end the game, they obviously didn't get it. But I love how they came out in this empty set. First, Joe Burrow was in shotgun. They came out in this empty set. Then Joe Burrow went under center. Then they motioned Jamal Chase. And then you, you would think, oh, man, he probably about to fake it to Jamal Chase because everybody's going to be watching Jamal Chase. Nope, he tossed it to him. And I was like, oh, I, I like that. Because you want to attempt. You don't want to force anything, but you want to attempt to try to get this first down so you, you win this game and it's over. But you also want to get the, the ball in your playmaker's hands. And Jamar Chase with the ball in his hands, he, he's fast, but he runs so smooth. He runs so smooth. It's like, God, that guy is amazing. This team, these Bengals, again, they are something serious. Congrats to, again to all the Bengals fans. Um, and, oh, man, for any Bengals fans that went out there, like to the game, oh, man, I know that. They, they, I'm, it's 801 right now. 
So this game's been over for about 10, 15 minutes. I'm, I'm sure it's going to be fans out. Fans are going to have to get kicked out of that stadium because they're going to be doing so much celebrating. But then once they get kicked out, they're going to be celebrating in the parking lot. Then once the parking lot finally clears out, they're going to be celebrating in the streets. It, they, they are going to be celebrating like crazy, uh, but they deserve to. So shout out to them. Congrats on the win. And we'll see what the rest of these playoffs got in store for us. We out.